Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is all about the important things of human anatomy and physiology. The two chapters that is digestive system and the respiratory system is the most important chapter that you should prepare. Let me tell you in detail by page by page. So first in nutrition is nutrition and what is the need of nutrition. Next thing is that you should know the deficiency diseases particularly this table and this table as well next thing learn the definition of balanced diet and the chart so these things were like they uh, usually come the things which hardly come are what are the categories of sugar or what is protein and the deficiency one more thing the table the difference between kosciuszko and merrells so don't forget to read about the other nutrients like mineral salts and all that so these things are mainly important in this chapter now let's talk about digestive system learn the definition of digestion the definition of enzymes and the characteristics of an enzyme this chapter has the most important topics that mostly uh, your teacher will ask in your question paper so learn these things next thing about the teeth the characterization the different types of teeth you might think this is not important but it is quite important so learn this thing also the whole thing next is the structure of tooth these two diagrams are very important structure based questions are mostly asked so remember the structure the labelings and what is enamel dentine cement and pulp mostly pulp they ask next is salivary glands the different types of uh, three pairs of salivary glands definition does not come but the functions of saliva comes what is peristalsis hardly is of it is the definition comes stomach the significance of gastric juice the functions of that and as well as the reactions as well the small small intestine the uh, different types of different regions and the structure based question of intestinal villus villi ke bare mein bahut aata hai and do 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 learn the reactions as well the significance of the pancreatic juice bile this table particularly next is large intestine where the undigested food and waste they are temporarily stored the rectum answer and uh, the assimilation of food the definition and the functions of liver practical work on food test not um, very much but they hardly come it depends on your teacher next chapter that is a skeleton movement and locomotion the functions of human skeleton at least five functions the constituent of skeleton what is bone and this diagram the structure of long bone where the bone marrow is found yellow bone marrow and all that human skeleton briefly you should know about the human skeleton a uh, skull has how many parts vertical co vertebral column has how many parts or you could just uh, go through this table joints what are joints and mostly important synovial joints knee joints these diagrams they they mostly teacher they give you these diagrams and they tell you to label these diagrams or define the thing so that thing or you could just go through this map muscles in muscles only what is tricep what is bicep and kinds of muscles and liver mechanism that's it human skeleton part is more important than other parts joints or other things next up is skin the function of skin any five functions and then the skin proper the structure of a skin epidermis what is epidermis what is malfusion layer what is conified layer and mostly uh, the teachers they give you these uh, diagrams diagrammatic based questions don't forget to learn what is lycoderma and albinism what is the difference between these two things 
Next is dermis. What is dermis? The definition. Next, what is the sebaceous glands, sweat glands, mammary glands, and to learn this, vasoconstriction, vasodilation, warm blood, cold blood. Mostly teachers they usually get, uh, ask you questions to define vasodilation or vasoconstriction. At last, the another most important chapter, the respiratory system. Why we need respiration? I mean, what is the definition of respiration and the equation? Next thing, what is what are the two kinds of respiration and the equations of each of them? Then this diagram is really important. The parts of respiration. Next thing, the respiratory organ mainly pharynx, larynx. And this diagram, this diagram, question related to this diagram, they are given in your exercises so you can solve them. Next thing, what is diaphragm? Inhalation, exhalation, the definition you should know. Next is capacities of the lungs, only the numerical value, nothing else. Tidal force, like mostly teachers, they give you question, what is the difference between tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume? or res residual volume so you just need to write the numerical value and the definition of hypoxia and asphyxia and the experiments as well mainly the action of diaphragm in breathing and oxygen is taken during respiration <laughs> this thing that you could do is just to solve the exercises given in your books so hopefully it benefited you and if it did don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Heaven's Tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.